Hey, welcome back to Pigment Tech. Today I want to share with you a decision I made with my old camera, Blackmagic Design BMCC 2.5K. I think the reason you are clicking to this video is because either you have one of these or you are looking for an old camera to buy. A few months ago I just realized that I haven't been using this camera for quite a while. The reason is very obvious is, yeah, is how it looks now. It's very bulky and heavy rig this, at this moment and I really want to change it. Okay, here's the plan. What I'm gonna do is to remove everything attached to this camera, make it like a point and shoot. So I can bring it with me like a DSLR or some other smaller device that I am you know, willing to carry it with me. I love the saying that the best camera is the camera in your hand, isn't it? Several days later. Hey, I'm back. Guess what? It actually worked. I've been working on this camera modification for the last two weekends and this is how the camera looks like now. So first you see I removed everything attached to the camera to make it as light as possible. I also uh, opened up the camera body, removed this internal chunky battery, it's, it's quite heavy. And I extended the power supply cable through the, the body uh, frame to here. So I 3D printed a uh, battery holder for this two 1855 zero battery cells from Panasonic. So now I use two battery cells over here, but what you can do is to mount another two batteries on the other side. So basically you can double the battery capacity if you want it. I did a test with these two new battery cells from Panasonic. And what I got was shooting with ProRes HQ. They last for exactly 50 minutes. That means if you double the battery cells holder over here, then you get at least one hour and a half shooting time. That's also the reason I left this ugly adapter over here, because that allows you to plug into another battery cell holder like this. Right, the camera is modified. Now we're gonna use it. I think there are gonna be two main modes. Uh, first is the light mode. Since the camera is much lighter than before now, I'm gonna use it like handheld DSLR type camera. So you get this screen in front of you without attaching any other external monitor. Just do handheld. Or I'm also gonna flip it for some vertical, like TikTok, uh, Instagram content camera like this. So. With my pinky here, I can actually press the front-facing record button right here. This is quite handy. The next mode is the heavier mode. I'm gonna attach the camera to this very steady uh, iFootage monopod foot as a tripod stand on, on the table. So you can yeah, use it as a desk camera like this. But what you can also do is With this heavier mode, you can still attach your old external battery to the camera with this cable right here. So these two batteries systems are working together to give you like two hours shooting time at least. Well, that's it. I hope you like this idea, this camera modification project. I see you in the next one. See you.